Our second inductees into the NTPA Pulling Hall of Fame also made their technological mark on the sport back in the mid-70s. Unlike Hypermax Engineering, whose service reached out to many customers through a business vein, this trio made history as pioneers unto themselves, a trio of men who ventured out to use four turbochargers, three-staged airflow for the first time in the sport. Most in the sport referred to Norm Green, Al Cook, and John Lancaster as the Quad Squad. Their experimental venture into using four turbochargers on an Alice Chalmers showed a do-it-yourself spirit that is a staple in NTPA competition while landing the Quad Squad in the NTPA Hall of Fame. Geographically speaking, all three men live close to the racing capital of the world, Indianapolis, Indiana. Al Cook hailed from Indy, while John Lancaster lived south of the city of Trafalgar, and Norm Green hailed from Whiteland, also south of Indiana's capital. Besides the close proximity that joined the men together, their brand of preference, Alice Chalmers, made them blood brothers, with the blood type naturally being O for orange. A notable pioneer came before the Quad Squad, influencing their evolution in the later years of the 1970s. Legendary AC Puller Noble Harrison had an early connection to the Orange Pullers as owner of three of the largest Alice Chalmers dealerships in the country, offering him corporate ties that few knew. Noble tried to get information off the design engineers to no avail until one day a discussion with the marketing director set Harrison on a path that blazed an early trail with extra pulling power for the brand. In 1967, Harrison received three experimental kits from the factory kit being situated to three different Alice Chalmers models. The results were impressive for the day, and Noble carried the kits to sell for the interest in pullers by the end of the 1960s. The Big Orange were becoming a hot ticket on pulling tracks and were tough to beat. In 1969, Harrison requested and had built the first two-stage turbocharger pulling engine ever built. It was then installed on an Alice Chalmers 220. Paramount to its performance was an experimental fuel pump that never saw an Alice Chalmers parts number. By the early 1970s, Harrison and his son campaigned their famed Alice in Wonderland machine. But by 1972, the same predicament that plagued technological tractor pulling advancement for Jerry Legod and International Harvester played a similar role in Noble Harrison's supplier status. The Alice Chalmers company became more leery of product liability law and threat of lawsuits direct line from Alice Chalmers to Noble Harrison to a halt. Still, Harrison played a large role in the power expansion of the Orange Persuasion over those few years. As a customer of Harrison's, John Lancaster's 1971 purchase resulted in a twin charger system on his brand new AC210 setup. Lancaster, who made his living as an Alice Chalmers dealer, began pulling stock tractors in 1965. Al Cook was interested in getting involved in the sport after John took him to a tractor pull. By 1970, Al was working with Lancaster on a new effort, Cook's new Alice Chalmers 190 XT, built to pull field stock. By 1972, they contacted Noble Harrison, who supplied parts to Cook, bringing the tractors to superstock status. And so the Lancaster-Cook partnership was forged. Norm Green was a neighbor to Al Cook, and his interest in pulling came into focus around the same time period of the early 1970s. Besides committing his time to pulling, Green also served on both the NTPA full board and NTPA executive board from the mid-70s through the mid-80s. The trio decided it was a wiser idea to partner together rather than experiment individually, so they collaborated, sharing information on design and performance. As their hunger for more power grew, the idea was crafted and one of the three tractors was the testing ground. All three men were recognized for the mechanical prowess and named mechanical of the year at some point in their careers. Lancaster in 1976, Green in 1980, and Cook in 1982. As the pages of the calendar turned into the mid-70s, Al Cook switched over to an Alice Chalmers D21 like Norm Green. He won his first NTPA Grand National title in 1976 in the 7,000-pound Superstock class and backed it up in 1977 with the twin turbochargers. Lancaster was still finding great success with his trusty AC-210, including a NTPA Grand National title in the 9,000-pound Superstock class in 1976. Green placed very high in the point standings and won a pair of Indy Super Bowl classes. 
However, horsepower gains by both the International and John Deere's had been nipping the ACs, and the writing was on the wall. Additional horsepower was needed to stay on top, particularly in the 9 and 12,000 pound classes, for the IHs were coming on strong. Although resources for Alice Chowers were limited and three charger setups were in their infancy, the next logical step was to build beyond twin chargers. Bob Mitchell, fellow Hoosier and Alice Chowers Buller, who used alcohol fuel instead of diesel, suggested to Cook that if the trio was thinking about going in three pressure stages of air, they might just as well bypass three turbochargers and go right to four. The advice was sound, the trio thought, so they embarked on uncharted territory. As the 1977 season was winding down, fate stepped in as breakage to Norm Green's tractor resulted in the experimental ride for four charger. As luck would have it, Green had vacation scheduled to go fishing in Minnesota. So John and Al took Storm and Norman's AC D21, made the necessary provisions to quadruple the windmakers on the diesel powered 426 engine. The Deer Slayer was all repaired from its engine damage a month before and debuted at the Terre Haute Action Pool 1977 on September the 17th. It was impressive out of the box. The turbo boost gauge broke at 160 pounds of pressure. A few days later in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, the new gauge showed 200 pounds. It was a defining moment in the sport. Four turbochargers and three pressure stages spoken down the track to the fans' delight. Although teething problems plagued the machine, the refined setup placed on Al Cook's Alice Cowboy the next year brought more promise to the squad squad. We probably should have held off until 1978 because we gave the other pullers a full winter to rebuild and catch back up, reflected Cook in a 1985 interview with the Puller magazine, but we couldn't wait. We just had to see what it would do. The cause and effect was a defining moment in the Superstock Horsepower Wars in the late 1970s, and the stage was set for more wind power in the diesel divisions. These pioneers led the way for further developments that many high-performance shops still in existence today. The expansion of turbochargers found on diesel engines directly points to the collaboration between Cook, Green, and Lancaster. Tonight, as a result of their pioneering efforts, they become the newest members of the NTPA Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the original Quad Squad, Mr. Norm Green, Mr. Al Cook, Mr. John Lancaster.